I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, okay, so... Mr. Hayes. I'm really sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Miss Hayes. No, I'm not sorry. I don't want sorry. I want... <laughs> Hi, guys, and welcome back to your channel. Today's video, I'm going to be talking about the Kevin Smith he-Man saga and whether he should apologize from a business standpoint. Let me make this clear. This video will in no way be some sort of Kevin Smith rant video. Not at all. I'm going to talk about this from an entertainment business viewpoint. That is it. How did we get here? This situation could have been handled in a much better way. But in today's world with Hollywood and producers and directors, they have made this choice to go to war with their fans rather than embrace them. This seems insane and counterproductive, and you would be right, it is. It makes no sense. The very same people, the fans they need, are the very foundation for their business success. Kevin Smith wants He-Man to succeed. Netflix wants He-Man to succeed. So why did they take this stance to go to war and criticize their fans? By dismirching fans' name, by criticizing them and calling them names. This doesn't seem like a sound business plan, and it isn't. There's an old statement that's in business, and we all know this. The customer is always right. Why do businesses say this motto? It's because they know that without the customer, AKA fans, they have no business. And this is why I think what Kevin Smith and Netflix decided to do with introducing this new He-Man was a business mistake. Because there will be no one upset if you wanted to make a Tila Netflix series. No one would care. You can do it. Add whatever you wanted and let the free market play. If people liked what you did, they would go see it. And if they, if they didn't, it would fail. But no, they don't like being tricked. They don't like being bait and switched. It's called false advertisement in business. When you advertise a product to sell more of it, and it is not the product that you advertise, that is a deceptive practice. It destroys the trust between the company and the customer. It is a very fine line between a customer coming through the door and giving them your money or not. A lot of times when they buy a product, they're buying it on trust, and this is what Kevin Smith and Netflix have done. They destroyed trust of the very customers they needed. You have to understand that He-Man isn't something that is trivial to fans. When they were small, they woke up on Saturday morning to watch their cartoons, they with their pajamas, eating their cereal, watching He-Man. That is a part of their life. That is something of their childhood that they cherish. It is a memory that they cannot get rid of. That is them. It is a memory that is part of their soul. So when someone takes one of their cherished memories of their cartoons that they loved and then manipulates it, bends it, and breaks it in a way, what you're doing is destroying a piece of their childhood, their soul taking away something that brung them joy and then stepping on it. I'm gonna put some dirt in your eye. Again, this makes no sense from a business standpoint and this is what happened. Does Kevin Smith need to apologize? To tell you the truth, I cannot speak for him. He is a man who makes his own choices. But from a business standpoint, from a PR standpoint, he should because the damage is spreading. They're now talking about canceling a live adaptation of He-Man. 
The people who were involved in making this put their pride into this. And now they're caught in this melee. This is not a simple action. It's an action of trust, of reputation. And right now, the fire is raging. So if I was saying this from a PR standpoint, an apology may seem wise to put out the fire. Remember, there are companies that are billion dollar corporations that spend millions upon millions on departments for PR and public relations because they know that trust is a fragile thing. And if they abuse that trust of their customers, they could be out of business. And this is what's happening with He-Man now and Kevin Smith. Trust is eroded. And if anybody in a position of power wanted this to be mitigated and controlled, an apology from anybody, not Kevin Smith, Jess, from anybody in a position of power might be wise. So what do you think, guys? Let me know below. And thank you for your